Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a really inexpensive, really affordable hard drive enclosure. Uh, what you'll see in front of me here is the Wavelink USB 3.0 to SATA 2.5 inch hard drive enclosure. Now, I picked this up from Amazon for 10 Australian dollars, which is probably one of the cheapest hard drive enclosures I've ever seen. I've bought tons of them on eBay, I've bought them from Geek Buying and Gearbest and all that sort of stuff, and usually they run me about 10 to 15 American dollars. So to find one for $10 Australian is super cheap because when you figure out the exchange, it's probably about 7 bucks uh, US, which it makes this probably one of the cheapest ones I've ever seen. So I was really... Um, you know, curious about it because I've got heaps of hard drives and solid state drives just laying around all over the place. And I like to put them to use by essentially chucking them in one of these enclosures instead of just having them sitting in a drawer somewhere. But anyway, so I picked this up, like I said, 10 bucks delivered. I have bought some other stuff with it, so I didn't pay any delivery. Uh, but as you can see, it's just pretty basic. So if we look at the box, I mean, obviously you've got the image on the front here. I mean, there's not all that much to talk about. Wavelink, I think is how you pronounce that. That's the brand. Um, it, they get pretty good reviews on Amazon. So I was like, eh, why not? Let's give it a shot. If we flick it over to the back here, you'll notice it's got, you know, some junk, you know, connect on Facebook, all this other crap. But what you'll see is that it's USB 3. So uh, that's always good. Faster data transfer rates. Of course, that's going to be dependent on the hard drive that you chuck in there. But anyway, it's USB 3. Uh, and, you know, it's basically saying that, you know, it supports this UASP transfer protocol. It's faster, blah, 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 blah. And it fits most 7 millimeter to 9.5 millimeter, 2.5 inch SATA SSDs or hard drives. So that's like the type of drive that you would find in a laptop. And it's compact and transparent, so that's kind of cool. So you can see the drive on the inside. And it supports SATA, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, in the box, you get the enclosure itself, you get the cable, and basically a little quick start guide. And that's pretty much it. So there's not much to this box at all. Um, there was a bit of tape here, which I already sliced open. So let's just peel this open and see what's on the inside. Okay, so there's the box. Chuck that. Nothing else in there. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? So we've got the little Wavelink, I guess this is a warranty card or something. This kind of looks like that little PlayStation guy. What's his Astrobot or something? Anyway, um, on the back here, uh, basically says, you know, you can register the product, blah, 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 blah. I'm probably not going to do that. It's, you know, probably more trouble than it's worth. Don't need my email address to go out to any more places. But anyway, uh, here is your instruction manual. Uh, it's going to be very, very basic. So as we can see, basically we move the cover by sliding it downwards, we pop our SATA drive in there, and then just simply connect it to our computer. Um, now I didn't see anywhere on the box whether it said that this was compatible with what operating system. I would assume it's compatible with everything because it should just be plug and play, I mean it's just USB so... Um, I don't think we should have any issues between, you know, Windows or OS X or, uh, or what do they call it now, Mac OS or Linux or whatever. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so in the box, this is, this is it. Um, and you've got your USB 3 cable. Um, it's probably got that, yep, that funky, I don't know what they call that, but that's, you know, anyway, that's pretty standard, stock standard for external hard drives. Uh, oh, we've got a bit of that peely plastic stuff. This is always really, like, really satisfying. I know everybody like gets a kick out of this. I don't know why, but ah, it's really st sticky. Sorry, I think I just shook the camera there. Not as satisfying as some of the other ones because it doesn't peel off very nicely. So again, it was pretty, pretty sticky stuff. But anyway. Um, Alright, so here is our little drive. Uh, mine looks like it's got some weird sort of markings on it from the plastic. I wonder if that comes off. Uh, I hope so, because I, I think it looks kind of neat. Um, I mean, other than this, you know, the wacky sort of residue from the from the plastic, or is that plastic still on here? I'm not really sure what's going on here, but obviously it, you can see it when I kind of 
show it in the light. See those like markings almost? It's from the plastic. I'm not really sure why that's not going away. But anyway, um, all right. So basically, the instructions said you just basically have to push and and pull. But I'm not really sure what side here. I think it's here. I'm having a hell of a time trying to do it. I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just not doing something right. <laughs> I'm not sure. What my, oh, here we go. Okay, look, so I'm like, to be honest with you, I'm afraid that I'm going to break it. So I'm like trying not to... Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, so that was a bit tricky uh, to come off. I really hope that that residue comes off. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of bummed. Um, I do like the design. Um, again, it's just this clear plastic. Um, like I said, pushing down on it in order to remove it. I'm hoping it's just because it's the first time I've used it. Um, did feel like sort of like I was going to break it. And obviously, that's not a great feeling. But other than that, like it looks like it's pretty decent quality. I mean, there's not much to it. It's a hard drive enclosure. Anyway, let me grab a hard drive and uh, we'll slide it in there and see how it fits. Okay, so as you can see, I've got two different hard drives in front of me. They're both 2.5 inch, so they both came out of laptops. But one is a 9 mil, I think, so it's the, the bit thicker one. And one's a 7 mil. You can kind of see the difference just slightly. Um, I'm trying to think what's the best way to show you. So you can see how one's just slightly larger than the other, slightly thicker. So um, let's just try taking the thicker one. So like I said, I think that's a 9... 9 mil one. So anyway, so if we look here, we've got uh, the connector, so it's just going to slide in this way. So if I just push this forward, okay, yep, it's in. Now let's put this back on, if I can, if I can get it on, hopefully, without breaking it. I'm not really sure why I can't. You know, I have to say that this is a bit of a disappointment. I, I feel like, you know, some of these other ones, I've had Arico uh, hard drive enclosures, and they just kind of fit, and they work really well. This one seems to want to fight me at every stage. Um, I mean, I'm sure once it's on, it feels really secure. Sorry, I just moved the camera again, because I'm fighting with this thing. Once it's on, I'm sure it's really secure, and yes, it is. It feels really secure in there. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. It doesn't shake around. It doesn't do any of that stuff. So obviously it feels pretty good once it's on, but just getting it off and on is kind of a pain. Um, but again, how many times are you going to be opening and closing this? Uh, probably not that often. Once you stick a drive in there, it's not going to be much of an issue. Uh, but anyway, let me get this off and try the smaller, thinner one, because I want to see if this thinner one sort of rattles around in here. All right, so let's just... Okay, so again, this thing was a pain to get off. Uh, I really felt like I was going to break it. So I had to cut away because it was just taking me way too long to try to get this thing off. So again, uh, a plus is that once it's on, um, I'm assuming you're not going to be swapping drives out all that often. And um, it does feel really secure when it's on. But just getting it off is uh, a real pain. It feels like you're going to break it, to be honest with you. But I guess that's a good thing. Um, anyway, this little Seagate drive here is a 7 mil one, so obviously this is a little bit smaller, uh, or thinner rather, uh, than the other drive. I just want to see if when I put it in, obviously it fits okay here, if it rattles around at all. Because um, I've got an Arico hard drive enclosure that I use with a 7 mil drive, and I like it, but it does rattle around, and so does this one a little bit. You can kind of hear that. So obviously if you're carrying it around, um, because it's just that tiny bit thinner, it's got that little bit of extra space inside that allows it to bounce around. I mean, look, it's not going to affect the performance, I don't think, um, or at least it doesn't with my other hard drive enclosure, but it's kind of annoying that it makes that sound. I don't particularly like it. I guess you could put some sort of spacer or something in here, a little bit of sponge or, or whatever, to kind of fill that gap to make it press, but then it wouldn't look as cool, I don't think. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Uh, anyway, let me grab my laptop and we'll fire this up and make sure that this actually works. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the hard drive connected to my little Lenovo laptop. Uh, there is a nice bright blue LED 
that uh, shows up when it is connected. So that's always good. I uh, like to see that. Anyway, this is the drive here. So obviously it's reading. It's coming up as just a local disk. I'm sure I could format it and give it a name or whatever. Uh, just checking the properties here. It is showing that it is 465 gigabytes, which uh, that's exactly what this is. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. Nothing on it. Um, and it's formatted in NTFS. Now I've got uh, some files here, some video files. Uh, let's try to uh, transfer some just to see what speeds are looking like here. And so I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was about a 200 megabyte file, um, probably completed in just a few seconds. So obviously uh, the controller on the inside is as advertised, it's uh, pretty fast. And again, the speed is going to be largely dependent on the drive that you stick in there. You stick a solid state drive in there, it's probably going to be even faster. Uh, but you're definitely getting, you know, USB 3 speeds, pretty happy with it. Uh, anyway, so like I said, um, just generally speaking, I guess my one complaint is getting that lid off. Uh, it's a real pain. It feels like you're going to break it. Uh, but conversely, the opposite, the other, on the other side of that argument is that it does feel really secure. It does feel sort of solid. So it doesn't feel cheap. Um, and for 10 bucks, I cannot complain. That is an excellent, excellent buy for $10. If you've got hard drives, solid state drives, whatever, laying around your house, just collecting dust, put it to good work. Um, I mean, you know, it's USB 3, so you can even stick it in your PlayStation 4, your Xbox or whatever. Um, and it should read and it should be fine. Uh, use it as a little bit of extra storage for your games. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up in the comments. Obviously, I do um, accept BAT, so if you're feeling uh, generous, you can go ahead and do that, or you can buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi. Anyway, that's going to do it. Catch you next time. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.